For today's creature feature, I return to Universal Studios Florida, my favorite theme park of all time. Today, April the 4th, Universal Studios Resort has announced HHN 33 Halloween Horror Nights. Also, they have released inside their parks some Halloween Horror Nights 2024 merchandise, some t-shirts, some souvenirs. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J, pass holder to Universal Studios Florida and an enthusiast to haunted houses. Haunts on, baby. HHN 33, today Universal Studios Orlando Resort has announced the first night for Halloween Horror Nights 2024 will be August the 30th. Typically it's that weekend, but now we know for sure. Also, as I was saying, they have released some merchandise, some HHN 33 merchandise inside this park and also in Islands of Adventure. I came to check that out. Also, a lot of speculations flying. They confirmed there will be 10 houses and five scare zones, the same as last year. We don't know exactly, no confirmation what those houses will be yet. It's a little too early in the game, but there are some strong rumors flying. I wanna talk about those today throughout the video. We're gonna head inside the park. We're gonna check that out. Also, we're gonna go over to the other park, as I was saying. We're gonna check that out as well. HHN 33, the tickets are now on sale. I believe general admission tickets only. $82.99, so check that out. Check out the website and all that if you're interested. We're gonna go speculate. Maybe there's some clues in here today on what houses will be coming to Orlando this fall. Haunt will be on for sure. Let's do it. Much ahead. Let's go have some fun. Hey, taxi. Mardi Gras still going on here. Looks like, ooh, just a couple more days. Always start here looking out this way, this direction, towards the Universal Studios store way down to New York. That's where we were last time for Ghostbusters. But we're gonna head to the right through Beverly Hills to find the HHN merchandise. Just take it right. Beverly Hills, very windy. Whoa, I think it just picked up right there. All right, past the Cadillac, past Betty Boop. I think you know where we're going, maybe. And at the Crest Building, five and dime, right here before the entrance on the sidewalk. Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. 2024 merchandise reveal where horror lives wow that's an awesome logo i think that's their new saying where horror lives right in here in the window before the store we've got the t-shirt we've got a lot of relics in here maybe we got some clues i don't know i'm sensing kind of an 80s vibe already i don't know 80s maybe and here it is right inside the display just freshly put out notice there's a 24 on that trash can very fluorescent merchandise also i see some chains hanging what's going on here i know they've been doing their like vampire themed of error like last year it was like 60s or 70s maybe this year it might be 80s just a wild guess these fishnet things right here yeah those are totally 80s. And look at the key tag. 33, HHN 33, 24. And got some trucker hats. Where horror lives, 2024. Those hats are 30 bucks also. They've got some coffee cups here. It looks like these are going for 27. That's the logo right there. And that's the saying, where horror lives. Maybe uh, never go alone, it's finally gone but I'm sure they, they don't want you to go alone. So, so far I see one t-shirt, a hat, and a tumbler just right here off the bat. These shirts are, they're going for, how much are they? They are $30 as well. And it looks like they're black light reactive. I love that the epic archway is depicted in the new logo there. And it also says 2024 with a poppin' eyeball where horror lives. It's gonna be an awesome creature feature. Whole Road Nights. I like how they put the 24 in there. And it looks like they're selling just this shirt at this Universal Orlando Resort theme park store. Maybe there'll be another one at Islands of Adventure. We'll see. Also behind me, check this out. October Forever. That's what I'm saying right there. Half, whoa, whoa, whoa. Scooby-Doo. I see you. Yeah, woohoo. There is a rumor about the creature from the Black Lagoon may have 
its own house this year. May have. I heard that rumor a couple days ago. Also, at Epic Universe, there's a possibility of a creature from the Black Lagoon ride. So those are those are going together. So that might happen. And currently have the store all to myself. So it looks like this is the only HHN merchandise here on April the 4th. It is the first day. And as usual, as we get closer, as they announce more stuff, they'll set more stuff out. Dark Universe at Epic Universe will be my number one priority when Epic Universe opens up next summer. Cannot wait to get there. Experience the original OG monsters like Dracula. And Frankenstein too. All of the monsters. Much ahead. Hey, speaking of much ahead, I like that hat. So here in the store not too long ago, they opened like a horror makeup thing where you can actually pay to get made up like a, a scare actor or a monster. I didn't get a chance to experience that. I don't know if it's gone, but the, the last time I was here, I wasn't filming and it was open and that wasn't too long ago. So I don't know if they closed that or, or if it's just not open today. But yeah, you could come in here and get made up like Frankenstein or the Bride of Frankenstein right there. That was the door. Bye, Betty. See you next time. Have a good day. And the Mardi Gras tribute store is still going down right now because Mardi Gras is still going down. There is speculation that for the HHN tribute store that we might see a little bit of Ghostbusters, if not all of it, devoted to the Ghostbusters. Because as I announced in that video, a few weeks ago, the Ghostbusters are coming back to Universal Studios, Florida. Whether it be a haunted house, a parade, a light show, that video is out there, all the speculations, but we could actually see them as far as a tribute store and or a haunted house, haunts on. I don't think there's anything HHN in here, but I'll take a look, take a gander. Whoa, oh my gosh, haunts on. This is spooky. This is definitely Halloween Horror Nights-esque. You hear the creaky doors? Someone left their fur coat. There is definitely a dark presence this year at Mardi Gras. Look at this. Also a wheel. Now this is the same tribute store where they had the Jurassic Park stuff last year that came out and checked out. The Jurassic Park tribute store. This room looks totally different. Now this definitely qualifies for a, a creature feature. So this is the very last room before you exit this tribute store. It's like the back end of a pirate ship. Hello, my friend. What you got, ooh, what you got here on the desk? I see a VHS. Hey, I collect those. Whoa, oh my gosh. At first I thought it was the Ghostbusters VHS because I have like six of them. But it says time goes Again, it's time again. Oh my gosh. You know what I just found? I think this is a clue. Another clue that the Ghostbusters are coming back. There's a VHS tape right there. And it says time ghost again. Holy crap. Are you telling me? Much ahead, yes. And one of the other rumors flying out there, a possibility that Freddy Krueger Elm Street might be coming back to Halloween Horror Nights. The 80s vibe, that would totally make sense for them to bring Fred Krueger back to the house. Also, that opens up a lot of things, a lot of good horror flicks made in the 80s, some of my favorite, as you know. But I did hear that Freddy Krueger, A Nightmare on Elm Street, might be a theme here once again at Halloween Horror Nights. So, write that one down. Yeah, like hey, you doing good, man. It's the first time I've seen you out here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought I'd come over to Hollywood, you know, see what's going on, you know? <laughs> I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you, Bill. You spin it? Not today, but I'll eat two cans for you next oh. time. <laughs> I already ate three myself today. Oh, oh good I, for you. I'm feeling pumped up. Right? Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Popeye, friends. <laughs> You're my fave. I'm such a fanboy right now. Thank you. Thank you, Popeye. See you later. And I have now exited Universal Studios Florida. Ah, I hate leaving that place. But... We're heading over to Islands of Adventure 
to see if we can find the HHN merch over there. Still much ahead. Speculations, but this is what I'm thinking so far. Ghostbusters house, a Nightmare on Elm Street house, a Creature from the Black Lagoon house, and also, I heard this rumor, possibly a Hannibal Lecter house. Who knows, that could change. None of that could be right. It all could be true. It is still early, but fun to speculate. I really think we'll get a Ghostbusters. I think if I had to put it, if I was a betting man, if I was a betting Jay, I'd say all in on Ghostbusters. And the adventure begins. We have made it inside of Islands of Adventure. I came here the first year it ever opened. Doesn't that kind of look like Frankenstein's windmill? A little bit. Far-fetched, but fun to think that. Chris, the girl, and I were here a couple Sundays ago. Just date day, no cameras. And we rode that. Merchandise reveal, where horror lives. It also lives here at the All Hallows Eve Boutique. I see the words by you right here. Perhaps another clue? I don't remember that the last time I was here at this boutique. Filmed it uh, right before Christmas. And I think this is why the rumors are flying that creature from the Black Lagoon may be one of the 10 houses at HHN 33. They always do a Universal Monsters house. I think last year it was Wolfman. Maybe it was the year before. All runs together. But this year, I think they're panning towards Creature from the Black Lagoon. As you can see, it's the same merchandise we saw just over Universal Studios. And this is their Mardi Gras theme, the Bayou themed. I haven't been in here since they switched over from the last All Hallows Eve Boutique, but we've been in here several times. Let's take a look around. Perhaps there might be some more clues to the 10 creature features coming for Halloween Horror Nights. They got the pumpkins going, that's awesome. Almost halfway to my Halloween haunt season, haunts on. Yes, that's what we're talking about right here. Of course, we got the hearse in the middle. Spooky. See something in there, it's like a skull. Hello. Speaking of creature feature, I like this shirt. The creature from the Black Lagoon and a tuxedo. A spooky display here in the back. Rubber duckies. Love that they have embraced this All Hallows Eve boutique, keeping it all year round. So 365 days a year inside the store, it's always Halloween, whether it's Christmas Halloween, Mardi Gras Halloween. And we can check a couple other spots, but I think as far as the reveal, the HHN merchandise right now, I think it's in these two stores I showed you today. And it's the same stuff. So whether you go over there, you come here, now you know where it's at. And there you have it, All Hallows Eve Bayou Boutique. I think I'm gonna get a butter beer. Always do. Hogsmeade, butter beer, right dab smack in the middle. Wine's not too long either. Actually, I take that back. The wine's really long for Butterbeer. Ah, spring break. Maybe I'll get something else. And check this out. Mythos Restaurant. News to me. Banner in front of the door. Awarded World's Best Theme Park Restaurant by Theme Park Insider. Well, congratulations. That may be old news, but I've never eaten there. I've heard great things though. Someday I'll eat there. I do know it looks awesome. I mean, look at that. That's the restaurant. I have exited Islands of Adventure. And wasted away again in Margarita Field. I miss you, Jimmy Buffett. Man, I never got to see him in concert. Had tickets one time. Had to give them back because I, I couldn't afford to go. I had to sell them. Dang. Talk about your all-time greatest regret. Never saw Jimmy Buffett in concert. I, I want to see a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville haunted house or something Jimmy Buffett and spooky. What about you? Come on, Universal, you can do it. Give us what we want. Watch ahead, right? It's five o'clock somewhere. And now here at City Walk, Universal's great movie escape, which on the very first evening, Chris and I went to the Back to the Future escape game. We experienced that. We have not done the Jurassic World one yet. We need to come back. I just want to take note that every time I come by here, not so busy. And this is peak season. 
Universal's Great Movie Escape. That was a fun experience. As I said, I gotta do the second one, but it was fun. It was like 35 bucks, but it doesn't look like it's a hot commodity lately. They do have some awesome stuff inside though. And the Red Coconut Club, always with a spooky vibe with the hearse out front. Check this out. There's a skeleton, a coffin, Halloween Horror Nights, my friend. I know you are excited. Yeah, I've never actually been inside the Cursed Coconut Club, but I knew it was a thing. Maybe we'll check this out. Just peek our head in. I don't think it's open yet. I'm just gonna peek through the glass. This is spooky. Oh yeah. Some creatures to features in there as well. Look at that. I have to come out here one night and experience this. I'm always here when this place is not open during the day. So I want to know your guys' speculations, your theories on the haunted houses coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2024. What do you guys think? Freddy Krueger, Ghostbusters, that's a very 80s vibe going on there. We could see more of 80s stuff. Those movies both released in 1984. 40 year anniversary haunted houses to horror movies from the 80s, maybe more of that. We'll see. But I do really think that Creature from the Black Lagoon, especially, will be coming. Just from everything I've seen and heard. Rumors are flying, as always. Ghostbusters, in some shape, form, or fashion, will be at HHN 33. Just gonna call it right here up in the video. I like doing that. Did that the last time I was out here at Universal Studios Florida. Please guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, feel free to share it. Thanks for clicking on it. Thanks for sticking around this long. That means a lot to me. I love Universal Studios Florida. I've been coming here since I was a kid. I say that every time I come out here. So many memories and I love haunted houses. Haunts on. Last year, I did 30 haunted attractions countrywide, including HHN Orlando and Hollywood and also other stuff you know it's out there check out my haunted house playlist on the main page of my youtube channel if you want to watch some haunted house stuff and some hhn stuff specifically that's all out there on that playlist that's on the main page of my youtube channel i really thank you guys for sticking with me almost at 100k that blows my mind i remember when i had 70 subscribers and i was blown away been doing this for fun for the longest time having the best time of my life and it wouldn't be possible without you guys watching. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Just know Tampa J appreciates you guys. Every single one of you. For now, I'm actually gonna head out of Universal. My plans tonight actually were not at this park originally. My friend from New York is over at the other parks in Orlando. He's over at Hollywood Studios, if you know where that is. So we're gonna go over there now. I'm gonna film a little bit more. I'm gonna say hello to him. Uh, I think he's hanging out uh, with his daughter this weekend. They're down here for spring break. You may know him. You'll see him when we get there. There's much ahead. Goodbye, Universal. We'll be back. We'll be back shortly, actually. Very shortly for today's Creature Feature. Always, always coming to Universal. That's right. Come get some. And before I left City Walk, stopped at Starbucks. It's not a butter beer, but it will do. Goodbye, Universal. We'll be back. I got like a lavender iced tea. Eh, it's all right. Hits the spot, does the trick, as they say. All right, okay. This video didn't go the way I originally planned it. I was gonna come straight here, but I actually went to Universal Studios. Oh, now the truth comes out. Man. I didn't tell you until I, I fired up the camera. <laughs> they, la they launched the merchandise for HHN, so. I was I was showing everyone, ladies and gentlemen. This is the germ. That's me on YouTube, my good friend from New York. How long have you been down here? Uh, it's been a couple of days. Almost been a week of doing all kinds of fun things. Universal, Disney. We're going to Fun Spot. We went to Fun Spot Atlanta. We went to Jimmy Carter's Presidential Library. Oh, that's so, cool. Uh, Jay's game, you know, uh, or Jay's game. You went to the Trop. Yeah, we went to the Tropicana. That was I wish I could have met you guys out there. I was working that day. Uh, it was too bad. It was it was very interesting. It was cool though. Do you like it? First time in the dome, it was cool. I, I was surprised at how inexpensive the seats are for where you get to sit. sit because I paid 50 bucks. I was probably 15 rows back. That's not bad. Un unbelievable. You would not have gotten that in City Field where the Mets play or Yankee Stadium. 50 bucks right. would have been, I've been there. up in the sky. <laughs> That's right. Did you 
like the outcome of the game? Because the Rays lost. Rays lost. I'm sorry to tell you, man. I know you're a Rays fan. I know you wear that hat. <laughs> I would. You always want to see the home team win, but you know what? It's an atmosphere, man. I'm there for the atmosphere. There you go. I love your shirt, man. There we go. Bingo. I actually have the same shirt. I, really? I got it at five below. That's I think. I got it. There you go. It's shrinking. It's either shrinking or my belly's growing. I'm not sure. <laughs> it might be a little combination. A little of both. I'm doing especially, the same thing over here. Especially this week. <laughs> yeah, you're on vacation. Yep, absolutely. Check out all his videos, The Germ, on YouTube. That's me. I'll put a link in the description below. Awesome. But for now, we're going to go ride a ride at this theme park. I, I'm not going to say what it's called. Oh, that, I, I know what it is. You know what it is. Yeah, it's the, the great movie right now. That's it. That's, <laughs> That's it. Fun. It should still That's be here. And the Hollywood Tower of Terror, my favorite attraction, here at Walt, at this park, at this park. We're gonna get in line and wait 95 minutes for Tower of Terror. A mouse pretzel and a water. And there you go. Hey, Hollywood Tower of Terror Hotel, October 31st, 1939. That makes it Halloween as well. So we're kind of keeping a Halloween thing going on. So I've never asked you this question. Oh. Oh boy. Is he proposing? No, no. I've already done that to someone else. The Germ. How did you get that name? Oh, God. So it's actually... I've never washed my hands ever in my entire life. Um, that's not actually the fact. And, and you're still living. That's a miracle. I'm actually like Howie Mandel. I'm like a, a germaphobe. Like, like cleanliness on my like body and hands and like my whole house is a mess except for my kitchen but it's actually believe it or not it's actually a couple letters in my last name and that's that's how that came about oh okay that makes sense yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny once covid hit and i would tell people my channel is the germ they're like the germ and I, then i had to explain it <laughs> before that no one cared but you and they don't make them like this anymore, or theme them like this anymore. Welcome to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Oh, this is a nice floor. That's right, I'm paying for this whole thing. If you survive. Mr. Herman, Mr. Herman. You have a telephone call at the front desk. You got it, you got my <laughs> reference. <laughs> What'd you think about those drops? That was awesome, that was awesome. Love the drops. That was a random one. Yeah, I know. I knew they were random, but I didn't know how random. <laughs> that was they one of the best ones ever. I can't with the hat. <laughs> Paging Mr. Germ, Mr. Germ. Make sure you check out this guy's video. I appreciate that, man. Oh, wait. <laughs> Should I buy it? Yeah, why not? I mean, how much is it? 30 bucks? Yeah, that's right. Definitely. I mean, it looks good on you. It fits you. Yeah, it looks better on them. <laughs> and we never do anything orthodox here on this channel. Two parks, two different parks. Actually, three parks, but two different companies. And a fun time with a friend. Okay, guys, just said goodbye to my friend, the germ. AKA Sean, thanks for hanging out, Sean. Awesome time. Thanks for giving me some of your vacation time to hang out. That was awesome. Good to catch up with an old friend. This video, it's over. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. If you were new here, feel free to subscribe below and come on back. And please know that you are awesome, that you're loved, no matter who you are, what you're going through. Just know there's always much ahead 
whether it's here at this park or the one we began, Universal Studios. A little different tonight. Hey, that's how it rolls. A lot of friends, a lot of theme parks, Central Florida. HHN 33. Come back for more of that content as well. We'll give you some more updates. And then we'll eventually go. All right, guys. See you later. Bye-bye. Where did I park? Oh, crap. I forgot to write that down again.